hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at how we can compile a PHP application and run it within the .NET Core framework using PHPy extension but before we get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so PHPy is an open source PHP language compiler and runtime for .NET and .NET Core frameworks. It is built on top of the Microsoft Roslyn compiler platform and is based on the first generation Farlanga projects. PitchPy compiles source code written in PHP to CIL bytecode. PitchPy takes advantage of the JIT just-in-time compiler component of the .NET framework in order to handle the beginning of the compilation process. Its purpose is not to generate or optimize native code, but rather to compile PHP scripts into .NET assemblies containing CIL code and metadata. So rather than just talk too much, let's get to it then. To be able to get started, with, we have to install the extension PitchPy. We can do that by coming inside extensions and clicking on the manage extensions. So here we can look at the online we can put it on online and we can type in um, the pitch pie so basically this is the extension that we will need to download and install to be able to run our PHP project or application within the .NET core so here we have the PHPy Visual Studio extension. So the PHPy is a PHP language compiler for .NET and .NET Core. It allows for building, integrating, running and debugging of legacy PHP projects, right? So as you can see here, I've actually installed it. So there's no need for me to redo that again. But obviously, before we get on to the uh, next stage of this video, you got to make sure that if you're able you've actually downloaded and installed this bit here and also big shout out to io level who has de actually developed the extension for to, to to be able to achieve this so once you're all set on that then this is what we're gonna we're just gonna close this bit here come inside the file and then start window so here obviously you can create a new project So as you can see, I've got it. You can select all languages or PHP, but we're just going to put it at all languages here. And here, what what we can select? Uh, okay, we can select the PHP here just to, to cut all the noise. So as you can see here now, we have a a PitchPy ASP.NET Core web application. It's a .NET Core, and we've got PitchPy console application. So this is all written using a PHP language, which targets the .NET Core. And also, we've got a standard library that you can add to the, uh, to the project or the application. So in this case, what we would do is just select the PHPy ASP.NET Core web app. So we click on the next. So here, this gives them, this actually opens the, the usual configure your new project dialog here. So obviously you can set the project name and the solution location and solution name and whatnot so as you can see with this project you can target the php linux mac os windows and a, and a, and a cloud-based platform but we're not going to look too much into that so the next bit is of course we click on the create so this might take a while so i'm just going to pause it while the whole thing loads so as you can see here now, we've got the new project created. So if we look inside the solution, we have two projects created. There's one for the server and then one for the, the web application. So if we look at the web application, we've got an index.php. So we look here, as you can see, it's open here now. So it's just writing hello world and nothing else. So we're just going to put something here just to show that this is actually being compiled so if if we look on the server side as well so we have got 
the usual .NET Core application, very simple with nothing really inside. So we scroll down here. So if we if we look at it here, there is the services dot add php so this actually sets up all the php application to be to be the compiled php application to be run inside the dotnet call so here we can have access to other other built-in options by clicking on that so here we've got call request that and the, the usual request stuff so we're not going to look too much into that as it's not necessary for this video So scroll down again. So as you can see, there's, not, there's nothing really. So here, so we add the PHP and here we, we, we have the app that use PHP. So to use the PHP as well. So to compile it, as we can see here now, it's actually set to the server side of it. So if we also look inside the dependencies here and then we go inside the project. So as you can see here now, we've got the compiled version of the web too. So this is what will actually run inside the .NET Core. So we scroll down, we, as, as you can see, we've got reference to uh, the PitchPy, PitchPy.app. So we look into that. So uh, what we can see is a bunch of PitchPy libraries that is necessary or needed for the application to run successfully. So the next bit is, of course, is we, we, we run it to see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see here now, we've actually set it to server first of all we're just gonna set it to the web run it just run it and see what actually happens so as you can see yeah if you set it to to the to, to the to the web too this the, this is what you get the project with an output type of class library cannot be started directly so this is actually the the web two is actually output as a class library rather than a web application so to successfully run it you got, you got you have to leave it at the server side of the project so you set the server as the as a startup project then you can run it so as you can see yeah, we've got the project running now so what happens is the PHP PHP project will be compiled into a, a .NET Core compatible so that it can be run. So as you can see here now, we have the PHP application now running inside the .NET Core. So from here you can and run it under the .NET Core. So as you can see, there's some a bit of a background noise. So I'm just going to leave it here. But on the next video of this part, yeah, we will explore further and see what we can actually do. So I hope this helps you to get on, to get started. And if you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel again, please make sure you do. And have a lovely morning, evening, wherever you are. Peace.